Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, self-opposition. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God preadventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him and his will. 2 Timothy 2, 25-26 the Bible clearly states that all have sinned. It is in my nature to sin, and it is your nature to sin too. None of us is untainted because of sin. We've all hurt ourselves, we've all hurt other people, and others have hurt us too. This means each of us need repentance and recovery in order to live our lives the way that God intended. When Israel returned from captivity in the Old Testament, their first project was to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, which took over 20 years and symbolized their restored relationship with the Lord. But 70 years after the completion of the temple, the walls of Jerusalem still laid in ruins. Here is a people who have been able to re-establish repentance, which is the temple, but unable to re-establish recovery, which is the walls. And as such, they are a type of those who are in church who are saved but still broken dented by disobedience, smashed by sin, ruined by rebellion, or injured through ignorance. Yes, salvation does solve the problem of our relationship with God. No, it does not dissolve the problems in our lives. New life in Christ opens the doorway to the solution, but only by walking through the door and pursuing that way will those problems finally reach resolution. You must have heard the expression, time heals all wounds. Unfortunately, this isn't true. Time often makes things worse. Wounds that are left attended fester and spread infection throughout the entire body. And time only extends the pain if the problem isn't dealt with. We need recovery or we just repeat the cycle. One day a father was trying to take an afternoon nap and his little boy kept bugging him saying, Daddy, I'm bored. So his father was trying to make a game, found a picture of a world globe in a newspaper. He ripped it up in about 50 different pieces and said, Son, this is a puzzle. I want you to put it back together. He lay down to finish his nap thinking he would get about an hour sleep or so. But in 15 minutes, the little boy woke him up saying, Daddy, I've got it finished. It's all put together. You're joking, the father said to the son. He knows his son doesn't know the position of all the nations. So the father asked, How did you do that? The son replied, Dad, there was a picture of a person on the back of the page. And when I got my person together, the world just looks fine. Isn't it amazing how much the world looks better when your person is put together in the right way? Let's talk about how to handle hurts, habits, and hang-ups that mess us up. Isaiah 57 verse 18 said, I've seen how they acted. But I will heal them, I will lead them, and I will help them, and I will comfort those who mourn. This promise contains four parts of recovery that God wants to accomplish in our life. If you're hurt, God wants to heal you. If you're confused, God wants to lead you. If you feel you can't change, God wants to help you too. If you feel no one understands, God wants to comfort you. Good intentions and willpower are not enough. I need a source of power beyond myself. I need God. What is grace? Grace is a power to change. Grace is a power God gives to me to make the changes in my life that I want to make. And more importantly, that He wants me to make. And there's only one way to get grace. God only gives grace to the humble. The thought of the day, when I put my person together, the world looks just fine. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.